We need to talk about La Mer skincare, you all, because I have been quiet about this brand for years. If you're new to my channel, my name's Marlena. I've worked in cosmetic product development for over 15 years, and I know we're talking about skincare today. I'm not an esthetician. I have worked in product development with chemists, so I look at ingredients a lot, and even with skincare, I've tested a lot. So when I tell you that La Mer is the luxury skincare scam that no one wants to talk about, I'm here to tell you about it. Whenever people mention luxury skincare, they think of La Mer, but why? It's because the Creme de La Mer moisturizer is a whopping $390 for two ounces, you all. It is almost $400 for this little bottle of moisturizer. It is one of the most, if not the most expensive skincare on the planet. Whenever you see these behind the scenes of celebrities' houses, whenever they showcase what's on their bathroom counter, chances are it's going to be La Mer, and it's because because it is so incredibly expensive. According to La Mer, their journey began in 1981 after the physiotherapist Paul Kojny discovered the healing effects of sea silt on the skin. He started incorporating marine ingredients into cosmetics to alleviate various skin issues. Sea silt is a sediment from the sea floor. Over the years, La Mer has been endorsed by tons of different celebrities, including Kim Kardashian, Jennifer Lopez, Chrissy Teigen, Blake Lively, Simone Ashley, Kate Hudson, and the list goes on and on and on. So of course, with so many wealthy celebrities talking about this brand, people are going to think it's the most luxurious and the most amazing skincare to exist. So let's take a look at the ingredient deck of the La Mer moisturizer. I feel like I should have glasses on right now to be like, let's inspect this. So I have a little baby jar of it to test the sample because you all know I'm not gonna be spending $400 on a moisturizer. I will spend money on a lot of things that are high quality, like a luxury fragrances, a nice purse, a beautiful piece of jewelry. But when it comes to skincare, like 400 is, it, it's, it's just too high, you all. It's a threshold. But I'm gonna tell you what's inside of this moisturizer. So the first ingredient that you see is seaweed extract. It's the number one ingredient in the deck. And I looked at the pricing of seaweed extract. I was going to contact some of the chemists that I work with because I've worked with over 20 chemists over the years on different products. I was going to call them and ask what's kind of crossing a barrier like, hey, I'm not going to make a product with seaweed extract, but can you look up the price for me? So I went online, I did my research, and I went to see how can you get seaweed extract in a powder or liquid form that would be cosmetic gray that you can use in cosmetics. And here's what I found. There's a site called Pure Blend Naturals that shows for 2.2 pounds pounds, you guys, not ounces. That is 32 ounces total of this raw material in the organic form is $50. And this is retail, you guys. This is not wholesale. So when you work with a manufacturer, the chemist, the lab that is making these skincare or cosmetic products, they get it for a much, much less expensive price because they're buying it at the actual cost from the manufacturer to make their products. This prices that you see here online, those vendors have to mark it up to make a profit for themselves. So when you see even $50 for 2.2 pounds, pounds of seaweed extract, it tells you how low the cost is of that raw material. So when La Mer says, oh, seaweed extract, you know, it's so luxurious, so expensive. It's not. I found another place that has it. So I went to a site called brambleberry.com and they have one ounce of seaweed extract, one ounce for $4.99, $5. That's retail pricing, you guys. And that's for a full ounce of it. So say that that container, it's about this size of a tub and it's two ounces of product. I guarantee they are not using a full ounce of seaweed extract. And even if they were using a full ounce inside that formula, it is $5 retail price for that raw material. So I know for sure from pricing of other stuff that that $400 is not because of the seaweed extract. Ingredient number two is mineral oil. You guys, I need a cocktail for this. Mineral oil is the cheapest oil that you can ever use in cosmetics or skincare production. I know that for a fact. It's not necessarily a bad ingredient. I'm not here to try to fear monger or anything like that. I'm just saying it's cheap. It's inexpensive. When you see mineral oil in a product, you know that it's just, it's not expensive at all. It is the cheapest oil that you can use. There's so many others that they could have put in the skincare like jojoba oil, almond seed oil, rosehip oil. There's so many amazing, beautiful oils that could be in this formula and they chose mineral oil. But do you guys know what mineral oil is? Mineral oil is a raw material that is obtained from refining petroleum. Petroleum, you guys. Do you know what petroleum is also used for? That's right, gas. 
gas. Mineral oil is a purified, refined version of petroleum. That's what it is. That's why it's cheap. And it's in this formula. So I did research also on mineral oil pricing, which I could probably ask my chemist for pricing, but I was like, let me just look up the retail pricing. You guys on CVS, I'm going to put this on the screen. Health mineral oil. It's a lubricant laxative, but whatever. This is mineral oil for 16 fluid ounces. This is retail, you guys, for 16 ounces is $8.59. That's for a full 16 ounce. This is a big tub of mineral oil is $8.59 and that is marked up considerably because it has to be sold at the drugstore who needs to make profit as well. This is a cheap ingredient. That's all I'm gonna say on it. It's not a luxury high ingredient at all. Like I said, there's so many other oils out there that could be used that would be so much better and so much more luxurious than mineral oil. But that's not all you guys. The third ingredient is petrolatum, AKA petroleum jelly. That's the third ingredient. Anyone out there that's my old school people that their moms used this on them when they were a kid? Because I remember it's called Vaseline. And I pulled up the price, you guys, of petroleum jelly. It is a hydrating ingredient. It's been around for a really, really long time. But this is another super cheap, inexpensive ingredient, you guys. You can get it retail at Target right now. It was $1.79. They just upped their price, you guys. When I researched this video, I screenshot it. And I was like, oh, all of a sudden it's $2.49. A couple weeks ago, it was $1.79 for a big old tub of petroleum jelly. That's what's in the La Mer moisturizer. First ingredient, seaweed extract. Okay, not a bad ingredient at all. That's what they're touting everything. Is it a great ingredient? Uh, yes, it is. Is it super expensive? No, it's not. And then mineral oil and petroleum jelly, you guys. Mineral oil and petroleum jelly, and it's at the top. So when you guys read the ingredient deck of a formula, order of ingredients is from the highest concentration to the lowest. So they do have a high concentration of seaweed extract. I give them that. But then right after that, the second ingredient, what gives it its full base, it's mineral oil and petroleum jelly with some seaweed extract mixed in there. I just can't with the ingredient deck on this one, you all. It uses the least expensive ingredients that you can possibly use in skincare you could find easily at the drugstore any sort of moisturizer that has a very similar ingredient deck for literally a fraction of the cost. Okay, now from a product development standpoint, I gotta talk to you guys about the packaging. You know that I talk a lot about packaging with brands because that's where they can spend a lot of money. So it's like, okay, I know they didn't spend much at all on their actual ingredients in this, but what about their packaging? I know I have the baby version of this, but the big one is exactly the same as this. So if you guys look at the packaging of La Mer, it is the most boring, basic white tub I've ever seen in my life. You guys, I could find these on any packaging vendor site for literally about 50 cents. No joking, 50 cents. There's nothing special about it. There's nothing custom. It is the most basic packaging that you could throw any product in. I could get the least expensive moisturizer, put it in this container and it would be the same. They did not spend any money at all. And you know what really kills me, you guys? Up until recently, the version that I had a couple years ago, it was a sticker on the front, you guys, a sticker. They took a plain white tub that you can get for literally cents on the dollar and they slapped a clear sticker with printing on it on the front and called it a day. There was no sort of thought process of making this a beautiful luxurious packaging. We're just gonna use the most basic stuff and slap, slap a sticker on it. So that was their packaging for the longest time. And then just recently, I'm gonna get this close to the camera and also put some pictures. They started to finally, they just started to print actually on the tube. You guys see the printing of that on there? That is hot stamped. Hot stamping any sort of packaging or container box, whatever, is a very simple process. They're just stamping the ink onto the container. It's not an expensive process. It's not a hard process. It's very standard. So they literally just hot stamped their logo on a plain white tub and that's it. And I mean, that's an upgrade from the sticker we had before. So the packaging is absolutely bonkers for how much they are charging for this moisturizer. So I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, Marlena, you are such a hypocrite. You've talked about some expensive moisturizers on your channel and here you are talking crap about La Mer. I have some expensive moisturizers and I'll talk about that here so you can see the comparison. So my most expensive moisturizer in my entire collection that I have, and I have a lot of skincare. I have drugstore skincare, I have high end, I have mid price point. I don't discriminate against skincare. I will use what I love and works for me. And you guys know I love the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I bought it many times with my own money. 
that's a $140 moisturizer for about 1.7 ounces. So it's still a pricey moisturizer, absolutely. And it's pro collagen marine cream. So they also talk about using algae extracts in their formula, which they do have. The difference between the Elemis one and the La Mer is they have three variations of the algae, you guys. So the La Mer one just has the algae extract at the top. The Elemis one has three different variations of the algae in there. I'll put these on the screen so just so you guys can see them for yourself. They're a little bit further down, so it is less concentration of it. However, $140 for a moisturizer that's very luxurious, feels beautiful, is still less than half the price. Less than half the price, you guys, of the La Mer one. And the other thing to point out is their packaging. So Elemis has spent a lot of money on their packaging. They've done custom colors on there. It's a thick glass. They have the beautiful cap. They've done custom printing. Everything about that tells me that they spent time, thought, and money on the packaging versus a plain white tub, you guys. So they spent some money there, even though I know the most important thing is the ingredients. The other ingredient I wanna point out with the Elemis one versus La Mer two is Elemis uses castor oil as the oil in their formula versus mineral oil. As we know, castor oil is a very beneficial oil. It has antibacterial properties. It also has anti-inflammatory properties. It's used a lot in natural remedies because of the amazing properties of castor oil. Castor oil is a bit more expensive than mineral oil. Is it super expensive, you guys? No, it's not, but it's still an upgrade and a much better option versus mineral oil, AKA derived from petroleum. Now, I'm mean, going out and saying, you guys go out and buy the Elemis one. It's worth $140. I personally, love it, but I know that's still incredibly steep price for the average person to spend on a moisturizer. I enjoy it, but I wouldn't say, you know, run out and buy it if it's not in your budget. So I have another option that is less expensive as well. It has a really comparable ingredient deck to the La Mer one, and that is the Mario Badescu Seaweed Night Cream. I'm going to show you the bottle and the ingredient deck. So here's the bottle white tub. They also have a sticker on theirs. So they didn't spend a lot of money on their packaging too, but the price of this, you guys, I just got it at Ulta today. It's on sale at Ulta right now for $15.40. $15, and that's for an ounce. So for one ounce, $15. So if we were to say two ounces to be comparable to the La Mer one, it would be $30. $30, $400 huge difference, but what matters is inside. So let's look at the ingredient deck on this one. This cream also has seaweed extract in there. You'll see it called bladder whack. It's also called, I hope I don't mess this up, fucus ves vesiculosis. I may be saying that wrong, but AKA it's bladder wreck. That is a seaweed extract. That's the ingredient in their formula. It's not the number one ingredient in this formula, but it's still pretty high up there. So there's still a pretty good dose of the seaweed extract in this formula. Compared to the La Mer one, the Mario Badescu one also has collagen in it and hydrolyzed elastin in it. So it has elastin and collagen in this formula. The La Mer one does not. So from an ingredient standpoint, I still feel like the Mario Badescu one has a much more superior your ingredient deck and it's literally a fraction of the price $30 versus 400 Okay, now are you guys ready to see the reviews on the La Mer? So this is the kicker part, you guys. I was doing research because I was like, okay, let me see if people like really love this. Do they enjoy this formula? There are some people that do enjoy the La Mer formula. So if you are one of those people, don't think that I'm bashing you personally. I'm just trying to save you all some money today. So the true and honest reviews, there were several, several one-star reviews on the Sephora site. But I gotta show you first a couple professionals in the industry. So the first one is Dr. Usama. He is a board certified dermatologist. I'll put a little video clip of him talking about his honest opinion about La Mer and if he thinks you should buy it or not. I'll put a link to his channel below you guys because you should check him out. He has amazing videos and again he's a board certified dermatologist saying like this is such a waste of money. This is BS. Stop spending your hard-earned coins on this BS formula. So I'll link to his channel below if you guys want to check him out. The other review I have is from moisturizers.com. So she specifically focuses on reviewing moisturizers and this is what she said. She did a very very honest review. She thoroughly tested it and she said, she gave it two stars, you guys. And she said, to start, this cream is so thick. It's actually too thick. It takes over two hours to dry once applied to my skin. And it's definitely way too heavy to wear under makeup. So I could really only use this cream once per day at night. The smell is also something I don't care for. It has a heavy old lady scent. Her words, not mine, you guys. It smells like floral baby powder. It also made me break out in whiteheads all over my face. I read a few other reviews where this happened to people as well. So I went on to Sephora and I was like, okay, let me see if I can find the people. Let me see if they broke out from this and had whiteheads and things like that because it's been years since I even put this on my face, you guys, because I knew the ingredient deck was so bad. I personally would not even put this on my face. That's just me personally. 
Some people love it, that's great. I am not risking it for me, but let me show you the one star reviews on so far, you guys. So customer Emma B 47 she said, I used this product once and it broke me out in the cheeks. I've never had a breakout there before. The moisturizer was way too thick. Three weeks later, the acne that developed on my cheeks is still there. I do not recommend this product. Manny Banani 82 I like that username. She said, I chose this as a sample and I was so excited to try this. For years, I've been hearing people rave about it, but I never took the plunge because it's expensive. I only used it once and honestly, it's not not deserving at all of the hype. Another one was MJ Lava. She said, I received a sample of this in my order. It's horrible. I would never purchase this cream. It feels like putty on your skin. Rivers 12 says, I got the free tiny sample and I'm shocked people will spend $100 for the smallest sample of this. $100, you guys, for a sample. A sample, $100. You know how many coffees I could get for $100? A lot. <laughs> Audrey TT 1993 says, I've been a Sephora customer for years. I'm writing my first ever review because I want to warn other customers. This broke me out so bad. It's very rich. The fragrance is heavy and my skin got so greasy with a bumpy texture after only a few days use. You guys check it for yourself. Go to Sephora. I want you guys to do your research on this product, but there are so many horrible reviews on this moisturizer and they are still out here with their cheap tub charging nearly $400 for this product. So my final thoughts on this, you guys know my opinion, like I would never spend this money on moisturizer. And I have, like I said, a couple expensive moisturizers in my skincare routine that I do truly love. They work for great for me and I will spend $140 on it. 400, that's just, that's just too much, you guys. That's my personal opinion. But you tell me what you guys think. Do you agree with my evaluation of this product or not? Do you have La Mer? Do you love it? Do you think it's worth the price point? Or do you think it's a big skincare scam? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and come back next week for another makeup or skincare care video where we peek behind the curtain of the beauty industry.